I don't know what that means still. <laughs> Is that number of dead people in the chapter? Oh, it might be saying how many people I know died that chapter. Maybe. Or it might be just saying I failed to identify three people. I don't know. Uh, because there was three deaths, right? The two people died of illness and one person was slaughtered. Or one cow was slaughtered. And that's the whole chapter. It'll give me a chance to at least try to identify some of these people. Alright. It's fine. I can revisit chapters whenever I want, so if I'm making horrible mistakes, I'll have time to figure that out too. But I, I think, uh, yeah, labeling those guys as the Russians at random. Let's see. I can make a note. I'll make a note. I was going to say, like, maybe I could write down individually that those guys might be the Russians, but I don't really have a way. Uh, I'm going to write Russians guest. There we go. I wrote down that I guessed the Russians. Just so I have something to go on on my notes. Because I can't exactly mark down, hey, these guys might be the Russians in my notes. Because uh, I'd, I'd have to create like a photorealistic drawing of their in-game artwork or something. So that marking them all as the Russians at random and then writing, making a note that I guessed that is the best I can probably do at the moment. There we go. This is fun. Because the rules are weird. Like, there's a... <laughs> this is... This is the most detective I've felt in a game, probably. Because it really does feel like I'm just trying to intuit this stuff. And the rules aren't super clear. Which just adds to, like, the nebulousness of it. Um, they make for the lazarette? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck am I looking at? Okay. <laughs> is this game gonna get straight up like Lovecraftian at some point? Like, is that where we're going? We have the the giant beast, and we have the that's that's a that's a giant crab, isn't it? I and I don't think they get I don't think they get that big. I mean, the octopuses don't either, I guess. But yeah. Okay. This game really eases you into the fantasy element. Oh, I guess I used up my time. <laughs> Wow. I didn't really look around very much. I was really fixated on that detail. Is this chapter three? Chapter six, Soldiers of the Sea. Wow. Wow. In the port walk, location of the corpse. They make for the lazarette, secure the hold, someone shoot the damn thing. Yeah, hearing that stuff, I thought there was, I mean, maybe a mutiny, maybe it was part of the mutiny, but I was thinking it was probably ship-to-ship uh, -ship combat, like they were being boarded by another ship. <laughs> no, not exactly. Things got crazy, evidently. And to look around. So what happened to you? Did somebody shoot that thing from the other side and it went through the hole and got you? We'll try to confirm that. A lot of blood going down this road. Oh, I can't... I can't... I can't reach the... Yeah, okay. How do you do? 
This is the item shop, isn't it? Or the... Uh, what was that location? This is just people's faces. Which doesn't really indicate their identity necessarily. I gotta look at the... Crew manifest. I mean, not the not the crew. The uh, the ship. Oh yeah, surgery. Huh. That makes it very clear, huh? About who's where. I should have really just checked. The, I forgot to check the map on that idea. Yeah. So if I had just checked the map, I would have been sure that that was surgery without having to intuit it from the bone saw and everything. So that's the purser's office. I'm gonna make that kind of guess again. You are in the purser's office. You probably that's there might even be a lo there's probably a lock on that door given the fact that it's where the shop is run. So if there's a lock on the door, then you have to be somebody who has the lock. I mean the key. So I'm gonna say that you are the purser. Gunner, gunner's mate. There's no purser's mate, right? Bosun's mate, surgeon's mate, carpenter's mate. But the cook, the butcher, and the the cook, the butcher, and the pursuer, or the purser, and the helmsman, and the artist, none of those people have a mate. You're the purser. I don't know how you die, but you're the purser. Mark that for later. How many moments I have like this have I wondered? I I wonder. Oh shit! You're dead. There's blood running down his mouth. Does that thing shoot needles out? God, it's a monster. Is its leg going into this wall? Like, is it stabbing him? I can't make out what's going on with him. It seemed like somebody shot it, and when they shot- yeah, you can see the- you can see the particles going through the middle of the creature, through this wall, to him. So I'm pretty sure you were shot, whoever you are. You were... ...shot. By a gun, I believe. But figuring out who shot you is gonna be a problem. Maybe I can recognize... Uh, they said shoot him already, but I, uh, that probably wasn't the person who shot, so I can't even recognize it based on the voice necessarily. Something to start with at least, and we'll have to review this memory later. We see you around. You have a gun, but you have not shot. That guy's got a saber. Ah, there's the there's the guy that shot. You can see him, yeah, pointing the gun through here, and he shot that guy through the wall, like coincidentally, I guess. Although, how'd the blood get through here? Then were you already bleeding when you got here and you hid behind the wall? I don't see anybody else near the body. Ah, you were ready to shoot too, Mister Ten Gallon Hat. Are those all bodies? How many things got killed by this guy? Okay, I think we're gonna be. Able to, I think we're gonna have a lot of, a lot of memories to go through of this sequence because it looks like there's a lot of bodies inside too. This is a really cool perspective to see it from, though. Ah, so we can identify that guy. So you were like, those aren't arrows. You were like stabbed by a beast. I can't say how you died though from here. Nah, we have to wait until your we have to wait until your actual death comes up. Oh, you are the next one, of course. Cause I can see you. for a little swirl for a minute because he can oh. 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 
I've got you. Don't move. I'll get you down. That's horrible. That's horrible. Uh, so they killed it. Evidently. That guy looks pretty dead too. What is this thing? You dumped water on it? It's like a giant crab that somehow has like these things. They look, they look like they're sticking out, like it, like it can shoot them out. Which seems to be what happened here. Uh, so he wasn't dead yet, now he's trying to pull him off, which is horrible. And you can't just pull him off, you gotta pull the things... Uh, you gotta pull the things out of the wall, cause like... They're gonna come out at like different angles. So you're gonna be like, they're not gonna... They're not all parallel, so you can't just slide them off. This... <laughs> these monster scenes are chaos. All these scenes that feature a monster are completely nuts and chaos. There's so much happening. Yeah, how did this... How did they die? Uh, they died hard. They died very hard. They died so much. <laughs> I like that electrocuted as an option. I guess somebody's gonna be shocked by lightning, probably? Clawed is all... Yeah, stuff like clawing and stuff makes a lot more sense when you see all the monsters everywhere. Alright, uh... Not Eden. But look forward to that when somebody gets, we th see one of them getting thrown into the gullet of a creature or something, maybe. Who knows how bi what kinds of things they might see. This is like the Odyssey at this point. Uh, speared. Yeah. Speared is probably the correct word. It's not shot by an arrow. Spiked. Never mind, that's pretty specific. <laughs> Spiked by a terrible beast. Yep, that, that it, it even comes with the implication that it was a beast, so that's what spiked means. I've got you. Don't move, I'll get you down. Get me that gun. Are they gonna are they gonna shoot him to put him out of his misery? Or is the gun unrelated? A lot of the dialogue is completely unrelated to what's happening. Is that a gun? That's him saying, give me that gun. He might be planning on shooting him to put him out. Ooh, there's a lower deck. You went out bad, Bruce Willis. <laughs> he looks like Bruce Willis here, not in the picture so much. He looks a lot like Bruce Willis, actually. We can recognize a lot of these guys, but I'm not sure recognizing them is super useful sometimes. I don't think I've ever seen you before. I bet you die early. Well, this is chapter six already, though. Yeah, some of these people I've never seen before, until this moment. Do we know who died? He looks pretty dead. He all stabbed up? Is there a sword in him too or something? It's hard to tell. You are everywhere! Mr. Split Hair. I need to figure out who you are. Unfortunately, these, uh, this scene isn't very useful for ad identifying things as much as it is for giving me some information about... Oh, is he going this way? Wait. Is it not dead yet? Did he die then when they were trying to remove him from that? But this guy who already was wounded was making his way over here. Then he gets shot through the wall. So that thing's about to wake up. I think the, I think the thing's gonna wake up and kill somebody else. And then this guy is going to get shot through the wall. Like, coincidentally. Oh, he had a spine in him. So first he got spined, he took it out, and he was like, hiding and trying to get behind a wall, a cover, which makes sense at that point, but he chose the one singular worst part of cover, apparently. Yeah, so this thing's not dead yet then. It's gonna get back up. 
And it's going to kill maybe you, because you're the one throwing water on it. And then it's going to, it's going to kill you, and then... Uh, I think it was bald guy is going to come shoot. Where's the bald guy? I don't see him. Oh, you. Yeah. You're going to shoot the guy through the wall. You're the only... I think you're the only bald guy I see here. But I don't know your name, so I can't really say who shot who until I know your name. Okay. This is fun. <laughs> There's no time to show off. Come back over to the body. Where are you going? <laughs> it just <laughs> it goes in so many circles. Is it doing another lap? Oh, wait. Oh, the entire creature. The creature's the next death we're looking at. That's not what I expected. Although the body's on the creature too, so maybe it's just the creature. Wow. Those were sounds. Uh, what am I looking at right now? So that was the screaming guy, right? He got- so he must have gotten on the other set of spears that were on the other side of this thing, or something. I'm not even sure what that visual is. <gasps> oh! You're on fire. That's why they were throwing water on it. You're on fire right now. They burned the creature. This is oil? That's what's going on. That's why you're screaming. So you burned to death, maybe. It's hard to be super sure, honestly, but he probably he might be burned to death. This guy's already been stabbed to the wall. He's trying to reach for really anything. Can I see the guy that's hobbling out with the spike? Yep, there he is. Right as it closes on me. You burned to death. That's what that visual is. That's why they threw water on it in the previous scene. Because they have to put it- I was wondering, like, why is he randomly throwing water on this corpse? That seemed like a weird move, but he's throwing water on the fire, because otherwise I could burn the ship down. And I, I guessed you were Charles Hirschtick? It was Charles- oh, you, did you guys- oh, you're the guy that threw up earlier. Interesting. Well, you burned to death, I think. He could have also been stabbed, but it's not super clear. I think they're clearly hinting at this that the, the, the burning was a thing that happened, so I'm gonna go with that. Ooh. Well done. Three more fates correct. I got the name right. I even guessed who he was correctly. And there's Syed, succ succumbed to tragic illness. Henry Brennan Seaman was knifed by Captain Robert. Yeah. That means I've been wrong about other things, probably, because that was a really disparate grouping of people to be right about all of a sudden. Huh. Yeah, this was the guy that got knifed. His throat got cut, yeah, at the very beginning of the game. Yeah. But I had to name him way later, right? Henry Brennan. I think I had to name- yeah, I think he was named way more recently, is the- was the issue. Was he- it was during the mutiny stuff, wasn't it? Oh, somebody was- wasn't somebody like, Henry, bring the surgeon's kit or something like that. That might have been what happened. Alright, we have six- we have six built in and for sure now. I want to figure out this guy- this damn guy's name. This guy was stabbed by Henry Brennan. Hmm. So we have Robert and William's deaths are confirmed. Abigail. Charles Hirschtick. Solomon Syed. Henry Brennan. Okay. That's six out of sixty. <laughs> 10% progress. Holy crap. This might be a big series. 
Although, oh, I think a lot of these are going to be like rolling revelations, though, where you start, you know, you get a Tetris, basically, and everything kind of falls into place. Where right now we're doing a lot of setting the stage and learning what the series of events were, so it's hard to name what happened to anybody yet. Well, that's what I'm going with. There's Charles's death. That's the stabbed victim. That guy was shot through the wall. I would, I know an attacker. If I could point at a face, I would say it's that guy, but I can't, all I can do is name the guy, and I don't really have a name for him yet. The Doom was right after that. So you, we go straight from the crab to the, to the, the Kraken. It's a bad time for everybody. So you're crawling away because you got stabbed. A few guys are blocking your face over here. Can I still get them? Yep. Oh, that... yeah. He totally came down here and, and did the, the gunshot when it was necessary. This is the guy that was like, give me that gun. Which is probably to put the uh, stab victim out of his mercy- out of his, uh... out of misery. There's nobody there. Yeah, this guy, he just slumped down a moment later, so... He's pretty much sta stationary at the moment. Those are a lot of bodies. His head is cut off. So that guy was de that guy was decapitated. They're both decapitated. Oh, so those guys are next. Those guys being decapitated is going to be the next plot point, which they must have been decapitated by that thing. There's something else over here. You guys are like looking out this. You guys are like peeking out around this corner. Is there something else out here? That's concerning. Oh, another bald guy. Now it's ambiguous of who shot the guy. Probably have to go by shirt style, if they have different shirts. Yeah, the spines went through the walls. How'd they get decapitated? Like, pincers? Did it come from that direction? Yeah, there's the guy that I think is the bosun. Look at his gun! He's got a big ol' blunderbuss. He's got like a... That's not, that's not a precision... I mean, I don't know if any of them were precision weapons back then, but that's especially not one. So you stabbed the creature while it was burning. Brave moment, being ready to do that kind of shit while into the inferno and stuff. Alright, that's, that's gonna be probably about it for now. Oh wait, I should check the windows. If I can spot anybody in these rooms, that could be really relevant. Only the locked ones, though. Everything past here isn't so locked. Uh, down here was the carpenter's place, I think? But I can't get to it. In this memory. I gotta figure out who all these damn people are. That guy's still in here, right? Hiding. You hiding away. Well, I already have you marked, right? Oops. Yeah, Duncan McKay. It's still the same guy from the other memory. Yeah, this one's a two for one. That's gotta be like the biggest bummer, right? Being a discount death. We're no use. Oh, these sounds. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, that's even creepier. I was, I was trying to figure out what that shape was. That's like a humanoid figure that's like on it and full of like moss and has thing growing out of it. Ah. And yeah, both of them were just decapitated by pincers at the same time. 
What a creepy fucking Dark Souls monster. Like, <laughs> it's really unnerving, right? Ah. Man. Like, obviously, if this is a game you want to play, you don't want to have, you don't want to spoil, like, the mysteries and everything. And it's like, there was, there was, mo there was people right off the bat at the beginning who were like, I don't want to watch the series because it'll spoil the game, so I'm going to go play the game and, you know, maybe they'll come back afterwards or something. But, <laughs> boy oh boy, was there no way of knowing how spoilable some of the stuff was. That thing's fucking crazy. <laughs> Oh, hey, it's the guy that I said is the surgeon. So, one of two things. Either that is like a quailag, like, like weird half crab monster, half creature, like the humanoid creature crab centaur thing. Or it's just a random corpse that got stuck to the top of the crab and is just sitting there all the time. Covered in moss and whatnot, or it's some sort of mythological figure that maybe pretends to be a humanoid figure and then turns out to be a horrible monster. I don't know. All I know is you got decapitated by terrible beast, and you were also decapitated by a terrible beast. And I have no idea who you guys are. We're no use, burn it quick. That's all I get from this one. They they died. You might be the surgeon, you might be the surgeon's mate, you might be just a guy that happened to be sitting in that room, but at the very least I can draw a connection between your death and where you were in that scene. Uh, we'll see. 15 of those present, of course. God, you're freaky. I'm really not sure what to make of it. Those were some bad sounds. Ugh. Du dudes led a whole life up until this point, and then they get a discount death, a two-for-one deal, where they get to be coupled off somebody else. Don't even get their own death. Yeah, that's an accurate face to have. Are you gonna be the carpenter or the butcher? I wonder. That apron stands out, doesn't it? Your weapon doesn't give me a lot of answers. You're gonna get stabbed to death. I think you might be the butcher based on that apron, but I think carpenters might also have aprons. I don't know. There's a lot of jobs that can warrant aprons. Are the spikes coming out? Of what? At that angle. One, the, one went to the wall, one two went into the floor down here. Are you... You're opening it, I guess? They're grabbing weapons from in here. But weren't you upstairs in the other scene? How'd you get back down here? Anyway. So yeah, they're, they're passing out guns to deal with the thing. You're not the same guy that was in the back room before, though, were you? Is that a different room? I might have misidentified the room. Ooh. Oh, there's more of them. Okay, so no, it's not a coincidence. There's a body on both of them. That's part of the shtick. Oh. Another death from spiking. I have to wait until it's his turn for his death, though. Oh. Another spiking. Hard to tell which ones die of it, but I'm gonna guess all of them. I'm not really putting a lot of faith in medicine here. That's the guy from that was below decks later. Or earlier. I guess... No, later. Because we're going backwards through time. So a second one. Man, those are unnerving looking. I mean, they did say they in, re in reference to them. But damn. This, cr this crew is having a really bad time. No... <laughs> I, I guess I answered my question of what he was pointing his gun at. Jesus. Did any of you sign up for this? You guys, any of you guys know this was gonna happen? Whoa, look at this guy. Being tossed out on his ass. Hey, it's Split Hair. He, he's alive for now. You died from 
You're the one that bled out upstairs, right? In the in the late in one of the last chapters. And they're when they're saying get the surgeon kit. So he lasted for a while. You're the one that tried to pull somebody back, and I'm trying to find out who that was exactly, still. God damn, there's a lot of people to keep track of. The decapitation's definitely the main thing. You're lucky you just got knocked on your ass, considering what's happening to everybody else around here. Damn. So you threw the fire. So you're, so you're the hero, dude. Aren't you the same guy that stabbed it in the face later? Or are you the guy that was dead on top of it? I'm not super sure, actually. Yeah. Ah, we're going upstairs. So they're making sure you see the second one, because you have to walk past it to find the next body. 